Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to be making some yummy, delicious country style barbecue ribs in the oven. And today I'm going to show you how I make them step by step. Let's get started. So I've got all my ingredients right here ready to make my rub. I've got two teaspoons of garlic powder. I'm going to put them right here in my bowl. And I've got two teaspoons of onion powder. Two teaspoons of smoked paprika. Two and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. One teaspoon of dry mustard. And here's a fourth of a teaspoon of ground cumin. And then I've got my kosher salt and my freshly ground pepper, but I'm going to put those last. See, look at this. And now I'm ready to rub it on my ribs. Now I've got two and a half pounds of country style pork butt ribs right here. See? Now, sometimes you'll find them boneless and sometimes you find them with the bone. I've done both, whichever ones you like. These are boneless, see? And they're very meaty and they've got beautiful marbling on them, which is what gives our ribs that delicious flavor, see? Now I'm going to rub my seasoning onto my ribs like this. And you want to be sure that you do a real good job and rub them really good. Just like this. Ooh, I can already smell it. This is what's going to give you those delicious ribs. Continue doing this until I get them all rubbed in really well. So I got my last rib done. See? And here they are in the bowl. Now I'm going to put my freshly ground black pepper. I always like to leave it for the very last because this way I'll know exactly how much I'm putting in here. See? We like a lot of pepper on our ribs. Good. And here's my kosher salt. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. So I'm done with my salt. Now I have one cup of water right here and I have three-fourths of a cup of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to pour it into my cup. I'm going to mix it in together like this. See? You can use any brand of apple cider vinegar. Just make sure it's apple cider and not the clear one. Now I'm going to pour it into my bowl. I'm going to cover my bowl with plastic wrap just like this. And I'm going to put the bowl in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Now this apple cider vinegar mixture is going to break down that muscle in your ribs and it's just going to give you the most tender ribs. You don't want to put it in your refrigerator any longer than 30 minutes because they can get mushy on you. Okay, so I'll see you in a little bit. So here are my ribs. They've been in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and they're ready for the next step. So I'm going to take them out of the liquid. Now, considering that they've been in the liquid, they hold the seasoning really well. See? And I'm going to put a little bit more of that seasoning, just like this. And don't worry if they're wet with this apple cider vinegar, because that's what makes them really delicious, too. And I'm going to continue the process like this, flipping them around and adding the rest of the seasoning until they're all really well coated. So I've rubbed the seasoning in really well like this and I'm going to do the same with the pepper. I'm going to be careful not to put too much pepper because I already did it the first time. See? But just a little bit. And the same with the salt. So they're all rubbed in really well. That's my oven. I've got it preheating. Now I'm going to be using this roasting pan with a rack. See, if you don't have a roasting pan with a rack, you can just get you like just any rack that you have and you can put it on a cookie sheet and then you can use it that way or just do the best you can. Now I'm going to get my ribs and I'm going to put them right here on my rack very carefully like this. And these are very affordable and they are so meaty with fantastic marbling and they just make a delicious meal. See, here they are. 
So I'm going to wash my hands before I cover them with aluminum foil. Now I've got one cup of the same liquid in which we marinated these ribs. And I'm going to put it into my pan like this. See? Now the ribs are going to release some of their liquid too. Now I'm going to cover them up really well with aluminum foil. You want to make sure that you cover them up real well because you don't want any of that steam escaping. See, now they're sealed really well like this. And I've got my oven preheated at 300 degrees. I'm going to put them right in the center of the oven for an hour and 30 minutes. And then I'm going to go off and do other things that I need to do. So I'll see you in a little bit. So it's been an hour and 30 minutes. Now it's time for the barbecue sauce. Now this is my homemade barbecue sauce. I made it yesterday. You can use any kind of barbecue sauce that you want. You know that video that I have where I made these ribs, but I made them in the Ninja Foodi? I use Sweet Baby Ray's because it is delicious. And then I made my barbecue chicken kebabs and I used Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. But then I started making my own and this is absolutely delicious, but you can use any kind that you want. Now I'm going to put the barbecue sauce all over them. See, you want to put it on really good like this. Now I'm done applying the barbecue sauce. I'm going to put the aluminum foil back. See? And I'm going to put them back in the oven for 30 more minutes. Now you don't have to drain them at this point. You think that all the barbecue sauce is going to come off with a steam, but it's not. It clings on pretty good. And I'm going to put it back into my oven for 30 more minutes. So it's been 30 minutes. I removed the aluminum foil and I drained all the liquid really quickly. So now I'm going to put a little bit more of the barbecue sauce on top. So I'm done applying the barbecue sauce on the top of my ribs. I've got the foil paper off and I'm not going to replace it. I've got my oven set on broil, high setting. And I'm going to put them in just like this. And I've got my top rack about five or six inches away from the top. When you've got it set on broil, the heat comes from the top down instead of from the bottom up. And that's what we want because we want these to get real nice and sticky and perfect. So I'm going to put them into my oven for about four minutes. And don't take your eyes off of them because you don't want them to burn. I'll see you in a little bit. Ooh, it's been exactly four minutes. Now I'm going to flip them over very carefully. Look at this. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. See how tender they are? Now I'm just going to lather this on on top. So I'm done applying the barbecue sauce on this side. I'm going to put them back in the oven on high broil for four minutes, just like I did it the last time. So here they are. These country style barbecue ribs are done. Look at these ribs. They are so tender. Mm. I made this delicious cheesy broccoli rice casserole and that's what we're going to have with our ribs. See how tender they are? Look at this. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the taste test. Oh. Mm. Super, super, super tender. Oh, so these are my delicious country style pork barbecue ribs. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.